for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Snip with the Mad Cheese as always. Got another update video for you guys today. Today, I'm be going over uh, two different updates. There was a small update that came out about three days ago that I didn't really think was worth going over because I just did an update video. I actually did two update videos that week, so it didn't make sense to do another one because it kind of was a small update. But I'm going to give you guys the information on that. And I'm also going to go over the player ratings update that happened. Uh, that happens pretty much every single week. That's why every Friday or Thursday, my weekly video has been on this topic because it happens just about every single week. As always, if you guys want to see more videos, like this hit the like button let me know in the comment section uh, because this is something that's very easy for me to do and if there's an audience for it because every week it does get a decent amount of views I'm going to keep doing it so hit the like button in the comment section if you guys want to see that other than that I am going to go over like I said there was a small patch uh, but it really seemed geared specifically towards the previous patch that kind of fell on its face. Uh, I did a full breakdown video of that patch. I'll have a link in the description. But that one was really geared at fixing the ultimate team pass, uh, franchise mode, and all of its bugs. Uh, didn't really go after gameplay too much, but it did address the offensive line. Uh, things like that. It was a massive update. It was a major update. It was supposed to solve a lot of problems. Well, it really didn't, to be honest with you, because I still, field pass still doesn't work for me. Every time I try to check my field pass, it doesn't even let me go in. To it. it has like a disconnected from the server type of error pop up and it's to the point where I don't even really play ultimate team anymore because it's not tracking my progress at all it's not tracking my, my field pass my levels I'm still level one it doesn't matter what I do I'm still at a level one so I can't get anything for free so it's really like I got to make the choice like do I want to spend a bunch of real life money uh, to play that game mode or I just want to let it go and to be honest with you I'm enjoying playing regs to the point where it just doesn't make sense for me to make that uh, to make that jump or to make that that you know to make that investment because to be honest with you, why would you make an investment in a game mode that's constantly failing anyway? Who knows what's around the corner? It just seems like a bad investment. So Ultimate Team is definitely suffering from that perspective. And this patch seemed like it was specifically uh, trying to fix um, you know, the, the, the new promos that they put into the game. Specifically the feared or the most feared uh, monster maker players, which apparently was locking people out of their accounts and stuff like that. I mean, it's really getting tiring. It's crazy when there's only three real game modes that anybody plays or maybe four and three of the four don't work the only one that really works is the one where it's just gameplay and it doesn't revolve around saving any progress at all that's the only mode that works and that's the only mode that i'm playing right now so it's kind of it kind of sucks hopefully they can fix this before uh you know people start getting this game for black friday and christmas and you know come playoff time and stuff like that i mean there's a lot of opportunity for people to jump on board and still play this game but ea can't get out of its own way every time they put out a patch or every time they try to fix this the issues it just doesn't get fixed so ultimately this game uh is pretty much i mean unless you just like playing the regular game which i do enjoy playing um but if you want to play anything where you, where you can build something good luck because most of the time it's not working i know a lot of people in franchise mode told me in the comments that their franchise mode is still not having it's still having the same issues that it had uh prior to the last patch so it doesn't sound like it really fixed anything and i'm getting a little bit tired of doing these videos about updates that don't even really take that don't even really update the game it just feels like i'm spreading misinformation where i'm just spreading the information that they're handing to us and saying look we fixed this and then they didn't really fix this and when you look at the history that ea has of not fixing things in their game this is stuff that could go on for years i mean there's there's been bugs that have been going on for a long time like the disconnect glitches the the you know freezing games uh to get easy wins glitches like that have been in the game forever glitches like the uh, custom playbook glitch has been in the game for like 10 years now they still haven't fixed it so what makes us think that they're ever going to fix these things me personally i'm really excited for ncaa to come out next year because apparently it's like a brand new game that was built from scratch so hopefully they fixed all these issues that they built it from scratch and we won't have the same problems that might be the game that everybody jumps to next year based off the fact that it's like man is just a retread every year they just keep uh repackaging it and um you know just basically upgrading it a little bit off the previous year's model and never fixing any of these you know game breaking bugs to the point where it just doesn't make sense i mean next year when this double a comes out it might make more sense to just jump on that and play that which is something i'm definitely going to address in this channel so next up i'm going to go over the top uh ratings boosted players and i'm going to start off with a player that's not really on this list he really has like the top players first but i'm going to continue to drive my narrative about jalen hurts who did get a one point ratings boost he is up to an 80 overall now that's six ratings points increases over six weeks so he started off the year 74 overall 
overall he did boost up to an 80 now so that's something that i keep pushing because you know when i go over the top rated players that went up there's gonna be a lot of mvp candidates that stand out right away and jalen hurts is one of the top mvp candidates and he's still really low on the list so i keep pushing that because he, he needs to keep going up every single week so now let's get to like the bigger names like i said jalen hurts is a big name but he doesn't have a big upgrade or anything like that uh the first guy on this list the highest one on this list though is a big name that does have a big upgrade and that's josh allen who at the moment is probably going to win mvp uh, unless something you know major happens whether he gets hurt or he has a really bad game or something like that he gets a plus one he's up to 96 that's the second highest rated overall quarterback i think only patrick mahomes is ahead of him and it wouldn't surprise me if he overtakes him at some point uh, throughout this year depending on what happens not that mahomes deserves a downgrade but it just depends on um you know how these guys finish out the year the next one up is Vaughn Miller, who gets the biggest ratings boost of the entire week. He gets a plus two. He's up to a 94 overall now. I think he had two sacks last week uh, in the uh, the Chiefs game. Uh, definitely coming up in bi big and big games. I mean, pretty much every game I watch, he's, a, he's an amazing player. Still is. Uh, he's doing great things in Buffalo. Harrison Smith safety for minnesota he gets a plus one he's up to a 91 overall can't say that i followed him too much um but he's obviously been a good player for a very long time aj brown gets a plus one uh that's definitely deserved i mean he's having a great year i just don't know what he did last week to get that plus one so i feel like that's probably like an accumulative thing although i think he did catch a touchdown but i just you know he's had better games throughout the year uh, after that it jumps to uh we're going to the high 80s jamar chase got a plus one like i said um not really following the Bengals. i don't really follow a lot of afc teams to be honest with you but jamar chase obviously was a guy that when his ratings came out at the start of madden 23 everybody was saying he should have been higher so he's going up every single week as well trey hendrickson a plus one overall he's now up to an 86 um you know good player obviously zadarius smith plus one he's up to an 86 eddie jackson plus one he's up to an 85 this paper i'm reading only reports guys above 85 and michael pittman jr plus one overall to an 85 also tremaine edwards another buffalo bills player uh, uh plus one up to an 85 so not a ton on the up list it was actually kind of a short week I, in previous weeks there was a lot more players uh going down we have tom brady he's got a negative one he's down to 95 overall now this is the second time that i've noticed that it seems like players don't just drop because of their performance alone it seems like a lot of times they drop based off of what they how they want to change like the hierarchy of the rankings of the quarterbacks so i think a couple weeks ago when patrick mahomes did he beat tom brady head one-on-one -on -one? i don't really remember but tom brady was the top rated quarterback then they dropped him and then they put mahomes plus one to be over him now it seems like they're doing something similar where they want to make sure that josh allen has that second spot all by himself so he has a plus one tom brady minus one so obviously he's one point ahead of tom brady now so it seems playing like that uh, next up, we have Lamar Jackson, another quarterback, minus one. This is a guy who went up, I think, three points a couple weeks ago and has had it, you know, at times people have been saying he's an MVP candidate. I know they don't necessarily have the record for that to stand up right now, but he's definitely having a good year, so I can't understand the wild swings that he's been having. He's been going up a lot and going down a lot. I don't know what the uh, the issue is. At some point, he's got a stick somewhere, but he's a negative one again, so no, a 91 overall. Vita Veo is another guy who's dropped multiple times this year. He's down negative one one more time to a 90 overall. Tyler Lockett, negative one. I think he went up not too long ago to an 89 overall. And DK Metcalf, minus one to an 88 overall. I don't know why they're dropping. Seattle's offense actually looks a lot better than I think a lot of people were expecting. So I don't know why both of their star receivers are dropping. AJ Terrell, negative one. He's a guy who last year looked like he might be the best cornerback in the league. This is the second time I've seen him drop at least. Devondre Campbell, negative one to an 85 overall. JJ Watt dropping again. He was a negative uh, not too long ago. Again, down to an 85. And Shaquille Barrett, a negative one down. 85 so you know lots of uh, familiar names that are dropping 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 i think the ones that i saw dropping the most this year that always stand out are like uh, alan camara seems to be dropping like every week he's not on this list so good for him but uh, a lot of the same names when it comes to names dropping so that's it that's the video like i said if you guys want to see more videos like this as always hit the like button let me know in the comment section i'll have another video like this popping up on the screen if you guys want to check that out other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.